Wah, wah, wee, wah, here we are in the house. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Big Live Draw number nine and zero. I'm trying to make a nine. I don't know if that's a nine to you, but it it is to me. Um, 90, not from Greenham Kawasaki, ladies and gentlemen. You may be thinking, why aren't you in a dealership this evening, Dan? Well, let me tell you a little story. Uh, today has been a very busy day for us because myself and Stu, if you've been following us, we've been to ABR Festival. So that's Adventure Bike Rider. Here's Stu. Hello. Say hello, Stu. Hello. You're, you're far away. Come close. Good, good evening, everybody. How are we all doing? Have you got your tickets? You've still got 26 minutes 26 left. minutes left. There he is. He's going to say, basically, we're not going to share a, we're just not going to share a chair. So you might hear someone chipping in in the background. That'll be, uh, that'll be Stu. Dino's been busy. He's been down to the Goodwood Festival of Speed, ladies and gentlemen, um, filming motorbikes. So he's been down there filming an electric motorcycle trying to go up a hill, basically. I, I get the gist that that's what happened. And apparently pissed down with rain. He's moist, but he usually likes being moist, but not so much tonight. Not so much tonight. Right. 19 minutes past eight, ladies and gentlemen. You have 25 minutes and 28 seconds to go and grab your tickets or top-up tickets on that stunning MV Augusta. And let me tell you, there's still a shirt load left. Um, when I refresh my screen earlier, there it's still only done 1,135 tickets. So that is a long way off a sellout. I can tell you what, I would like to bet my non-branded beer, I'm <laughs> just turning to other beers are available, um, that... This will not sell out tonight. So your odds will only be better than those advertised. Take advantage, ladies and gentlemen. Our loss, your gain. Simples as that. Right. Um, little update on winners. Uh, Robert Haywood, who won the Yamaha XSR, Kenny Roberts, 60th anniversary edition. Uh, he is getting his bike on Wednesday, Stu. Wednesday. Then next week, Wednesday. So watch out for his smiley face. We're not going to go and hand that one over in person because he's all the way up north. And Dean said he doesn't like going up north. So um, so, we, so we're going to post that one to him. He's going to have his nice, shiny Yamaha XSR. He's very, he's over the moon with it. He almost he almost wanted to take cash, but he thought, Do you know what? I want to take the bike. So good on him. Good on you, Robert, if you're watching. Well done, buddy. You will get your bike on Wednesday. Um, someone who did get their bike last week, Stu, Last week, Jason Fallows, we will watch his little handover video later on. But Jason was an absolutely fantastic guy. Um, you know, we got served drinks, glasses and ice and everything, we didn't we? Ice. We had ice. We had it, was a, it was a bloody warm day. It was a warm day. And it was nice, wasn't it? He was over the moon. He was absolutely over the moon. So he did, yeah. He's on the count. He's on. He's on the video. You'll see him. Yeah, yeah. You'll see him pop round. You'll see him rock round. Twenty-three minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm just going to check in on some comments. Make sure everything's good. Raymond Montgomery, big up. Good evening to you, uh, Colin Lovell. Uh, West Mids Woodwork, big shout out. Uh, Mick Bunton, Connor Pierce. Uh, Mick Bunton again. Clive Martin Gould, Paul Nuttall, Andy Applin. They're all here. Richard Marion's here. Hannah Aitken's here. Richard Marion's here. Matt Perkins is here. Star sender, I can hear some stars. Raymond Montgomery, hashtag fuck yeah. 50 stars. Stars feed our children. Ladies, Alan Henson, what? The North is beautiful. Northeast, any, any. Northeast, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, no, the North is beautiful. You're absolutely right, Alan. Stu and I like it very much. Dean, anything north of Watford Gap on the M25 hates it. So, right. Raymond's got his new motorcycle, the V-Strom. I'll tell you what you want. You watch a good feature and benefit video on that. Uh, Apex 66 did one of those, Raymond. Hope that influenced your choice. Uh, big yellow. You remember the big flying banana. Evening, Job Shipton. Evening, all guys. Uh, thank you to your star senders. Stars feed our children, ladies and gentlemen. So if you get the option to send stars, send stars. We love them. And I get a little ding in my ear, so I look at the comments. Um, also, I can't do anything else until you like the feed. So all of you, please press that big thumbs up button. Press that like button right about now. I can see them starting to come in. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, they're flying in. Like, 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 like. Out of interest, do you guys all ride? Uh, yeah, some of us try and some of us ride. <laughs> I'm looking to my esteemed colleague over here, only because he can't ride off-road. Any real riders can ride off-road, Stu. Just saying. Uh, yes, we do all ride uh, to whoever answered that question. James Gardner, big shout out, 200 stars. Whoop, whoop. Uh, who asked if we all ride? Who asked if we all ride? I'm going to try. No, it wasn't that far up. It wasn't all that far up. 
It was. It was uh, Connor Pierce. Yeah, winner of the the Grom. Yes, we do all right. Well, you might assume me wheeling that thing around the car park. Actually, sorry, Connor, if you need a set of fork seals next year, my bad. Um, right, let's get on with it. So you've all liked that button, um, ladies and gentlemen. We have two more tickets to adventure bike rider festival that is now sold out okay ladies and gents it is a sold out event you cannot buy them uh we have two tickets willing to give them away tonight all you need to do if you want to it does a gravel car park count as off-road wesley Heyman? yeah absolutely it's off-road isn't it it's off the road slightly maneuverable uh uh what's the word terrain i'm looking for um if you want to come to ABR Festival, it is in Warwick or Ulster, so just outside of Warwick. Big shout out, Paul Nuttall, 50 stars. Whoop, whoop. Um, so if you want to come to ABR, give us a message, direct message us through Facebook. Tell us why you want to go. If we get loads of you message us, then we'll have to pick the best one. We've got, we've got two tickets. They're probably the only two tickets you can get hold of. That's it. Right. It does look set for a good weekend, and we're there, and we've got beer fridges and stuff, so... It's all good, isn't it? Um, so that's that. Right, let's draw some prizes. God, that, I had to get through the formalities. It's like when you go on a course and they say, right, your fire X's are, your fire X's are here, here, and here. Uh, right, 20 minutes and 23 seconds to go. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget, Stu's just wrong around you because it's not written down in front of me here. We're going to ask you three questions tonight. So listen up, listen up, listen up. This is how you get into my Wheel of Fortune draw that's not going to happen tomorrow. Uh, it's going to happen probably on Monday now is the likelihood because we're at an event all weekend. So uh, you can get into the Apex 66 Wheel of Fortune to win one of 15 epic prizes uh, absolutely for free. All you need to do is answer the questions correctly. That is it. So listen up. I'll ask you three questions throughout. Stu will shout them out or maybe even come in and deliver them himself. Um, so there's that. Also, we'll be paying the phrase that pays. I'll show you what that is in a bit. But essentially... I'm going to give you a phrase that pays and I can give you it now and I'll also give it to you uh, throughout the show and you can enter this competition or you have automatically been entered if you have bought tickets on any of the small prizes for this evening. So any of those small prizes, the Richard Crazy Boots, the Light Look, the Watch, the Quad Lock, the Lego, the Oxford Jacket, the Showy Helmet, the Sealy Tools, the GoPro, or the Garmin. If you have bought tickets and you are in the mix, you are in the mix for the phrase that pays. We are basically going to give you this phrase. We are going to, we've prepared another little entry list with some numbers on it. Um, we use the Google Random Number Generator to generate a number. We will ring you and you need to answer the phone with that phrase. And if you get that correct, Stu, what is the mystery prize? £125 worth of web credit, ladies and gentlemen. That could buy a few tickets on some motorcycles, couldn't it? There we go. There we go. So, what the fr what is the phrase that pays, Stu? The phrase that pays. Come on over. Do you want to deliver this one? Yeah. Big shout out in the stars. Matt Perkins, 100 stars. Whoop, whoop. The phrase that pays this week is, Dino, you know I love you, but I can't talk right now. So, there you go. Dino, you know I love you, but I can't talk right now. Dino... You know I love you, but I can't talk right now. That is the phrase that pays, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but we won't be ringing off Dean's number. We'll probably ring off mine or Stu's because Dean's not here because he's at Goodwood. <laughs> right. So let's get on and draw some prizes, ladies and gents. Right. Here we go. So this is how it works. If you're new to Apex 66, welcome. We're not usually in an office. We're usually uh, in a motorcycle dealership with nice flashy stuff behind us. Um, but tonight... As I've already explained, we're here. So this is what it looks like. In the top right-hand corner of your screen, you've got, I'm pointed that way. I should have pointed that way. Stage right. Um, the Reacher Crazy Horse Boots. That's the prize we're going to draw. Uh, just down here, down there, you've got the Google Random Number Generator, which is what we use to draw our winning numbers. Match that to the entry list, and hey-ho. I'll run a little demonstration uh, on some numbers outside of tonight's draw. So, Stu, give me an opening number, please. Yeah, what flat two thousand, flat two thousand. Okay, and ladies and gents in the comments, give us a give us a number, give us a number, give us a number uh, that's higher than two thousand. I mean, you could do it the other way, but it's not going to work very well. So yeah, give us a number, smash a number in the comments. I can't see your comments, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, four three eight two Rob Theobald. We'll take that. Four three eight two. There we go. So that's what it looks like. We do a little drum roll. Sounds something like this. Ah. 
cash. And then I'll press generate because I forgot to do that. The number is 3286. We match that to the entry list. If that's your number, you win. Da da. If no number is sold, we simply spin the wheel again until we find our winner. That is it. It is as simple as that. So I'm going to reset that back to zero and they're all uh, and enter in the numbers or the ticket number range for this particular prize, which was one to ninety nine. There we go, ladies and gents. And without further ado, drumming roll. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Is number 13, which is unlucky, but not for some. So we'll find out. Uh, right. I will grab the entry list, ladies and gents. Have a look. Number 13, I haven't got a scroll far. There we go. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Just going to highlight the winner in the appropriate color of Apex 66 pink. Uh, and then I shall bring them up on screen like legends. Please be upstanding for, I believe, a mister, because I've never met a missus, Richard Howcroft. Congratulations, Richard Howcroft. Woo, woo, woo. Congratulations. Everyone congratulate Richard in the comments. There we go. So that's what we do. Right, reset Google. Get that ready. Find a picture of the light lock. Here we go. Whoosh. So we're going to draw prize number two. This is the light lock core, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this was tickets one to 175 man alive. Uh, you've got 15 minutes left on that MV, by the way, guys. 15 mins. Go and get your top ups. Yeah, don't forget about that. If you want to go to Adventure Bike Rider Festival, you, I'm going to just drink beer first. Mm. Um, if you want to go to ABR Festival, simply drop us a message and say why you want to go. We'll pick out a really good one and then you can come. That's it. Simple as that. It's on tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. You don't have to come for all three days. You can come for one day. Uh, that's it. You know, you, you, you're going to be sleeping in a car park if you do come for three days. Unless you book a hotel, obviously. Right, tickets one to one seven five in the sheet. Drum and roll. Good luck, everyone. Is number one hundred and sixty-eight shot. Dean's mum's back gate. Can I say that? Can I? Can I say that? I can't say that. Okay, fourteen minutes and twenty-seven seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. Dino is watching. He's putting the comments in. We're going to get leave my mum's gate alone. That's what we're going to get. Right, sorry, I've uh, got distracted. Number 168. 168. Another beeline. Don't you worry, guys. Don't you worry. Right, we have a winner of ticket number 168. Is, again, I believe a man. But it could be a woman. Here we go. Nick Bohr. Well done, Nick Bohr. Congratulations. Woo, 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 woo. Either side, we had Alan Henson. And the other side, we had Jamie Chalice. And then one further down, we had Daniel Simmon. And then just one a bit further up than Alan Henson, we had Craig Batty. Unlucky, guys. But well done, Nick Bohr. Everyone congratulate Nick in the comments. Well done, Andy. I saw that. Well done, Nick. Welcome to the Apex 66 Winners Club. My man, if you are indeed a man. If you're not, then thank you, Nicola. Get dirty with us. Well, to be fair, it is bloody dusty. You should see our cars. They're disgusting. There we go. Right. Uh, what are we drawing now? P3. Prize 3 is an Alpine Stars watch. Fine image. There we go. Woo -woo. Ladies and gentlemen, 13 minutes and 9 seconds left. 13 minutes and 9 seconds left to get your tickets, top-up tickets, on that MV. There are hundreds left. We're drawing it regardless in 13 minutes. Right. Alpine Stars watch. Stu, tickets 1 to 125. 1 to 125. He's just validating for me tonight. Uh, tickets 1 to 125. Drumming roll. Good luck, everyone. It's number 15. What a massive number. 1 and 5, 15. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. There we go. Highlighting now. Alpine Stars watch. Belongs to. Here's a ticket that's sold. Just bringing them up now. When I can get on the right list. There we go. Uh, please be upstanding, ladies and gentlemen, for Ricky Parton. Whoop, 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 whoop. I believe Ricky Parton is West Mids Woodwork. I think. And he's watching. I'll take the watch. West Mids Woodwork. Come on, confirm it's you, Ricky. I think it's you. Because you've won something in the Wheel of Fortune. And I remember. Yes. Yes. Well done, West Mids Woodwork. Congratulations. Winner of Alpine Stars. Watch. 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner, as they say. Uh, right, let's get Google ready for next time. But we're not quite going to do that just yet, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to have a look at the things ending on the 27th. So, a website I'm going to show you. Here we go. Ladies and gents, this is what we have ending on the 27th. We have that epic Arai Tour Cross helmet. Already 60 tickets sold out of 249. We have one on the ABR stand with us, so you can come and have a look at it lick it well don't try and lick it it's a brand new one and we need to send it back unless that's your size and your color choice but uh come and have a look at it it's on the stand uh only 249 tickets unbelievable helmet if you're into your adventure bikes and even if you're not to be fair it's quite a neutral sort of helmet then we got the rst track tech evo 4 leather jacket and matching jeans choice of colors four pound to go 59 tickets already sold out 249 be quick then we've got the Epic Senna 10C Evo combination Bluetooth intercom and camera system. £4 a ticket, already 17 sold. Then we've got the Revit Spark Air Mesh Jacket, plus the trousers, plus the Mosca gloves. That is a lovely summer riding bundle, isn't it? And all for all of £3. And if you buy a ticket right now, you've got a 1 in 17 chance of winning it. Uh, drawn in three days, regardless of ticket sales. What a wicked summer bundle, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely epic, isn't it? Uh, then we've got an Alpine Star Sector V2 hoodie, choice of colours. Lovely riding hoodie. This is fully armoured, fully CE armoured up. Lovely colour of choice. Uh, four choices. Very nice indeed. Then we have some rubber. We love the black and rubbery things. A pair of Metzler tyres, ladies and gentlemen, always go down well. 58 already sold out one trip, one double, triple nine, uh, one double nine. Uh, £2.50 a go. Loads of different choices of compounds and styles. So whether you've got a cruiser or you've got uh, or whatever. <laughs> Jerry Jerry Morgan, you're going to cost me a fortune this weekend. I think he's coming. Jerry, shout us in the comments. I'm sure I saw a comment saying you're away at the moment, but you're going to be down for ABR. Let us know. Well, if you are, we've got some of this stuff on the stand. So hopefully it will cost you a fortune. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Uh, they're drawn in three days. And also... The TCX boots, these are the Hero leather waterproof boots, full grain leather, 29 tickets sold out of 175 already. Then we got the City Vertigo 2s, choice of colours, and uh, a Sealy uh, motorcycle dolly, ladies and gentlemen. 34 tickets sold out of 149. And then last two smaller prizes, uh, ticking away down at the bottom here, the beautiful Alpine Stars SP8 V3 gloves. Getting quick on these, there's already 45 tickets sold, so that's nearly halfway. Uh, they will likely sell out and then you're free to enter competition ladies and gentlemen two full weekend tickets uh to the silverstone british motor gp in about a month and a little bit that's it anything else i hear you say of course there is we're drawing a motorcycle on monday as well get your teeth into this you could win this top spec triumph street triple rs with a load of accessories on it including the wicked titanium race fit exhaust <laughs> Enter the competition now because you could be joining over 650 Apex 66 winners. The live draw will be broadcast on the Apex 66 Facebook page. Triumph Street Triple RS is perhaps the king of the middleweight roadsters, rated 5 stars by almost every journalist ever and with good reason. The tripled engine is regarded as the best on the market and this exact model you could win pumps that delicious soundtrack through this tasty titanium exhaust with a removable baffle. On top of that, this model also comes with heated grips, upgraded Michelin road tyres, tail tidy paddock stand bobbins, tank pad and a universal tank pad mount. What a machine, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that particular bike has, is on the stand with us at ABR slightly dusty at the moment we will polish it i promise uh already 337 tickets sold out of 14.99 again gets drawn regardless of ticket sales and that's on monday ladies and gentlemen not thursday that is on monday so we got a big live draw on monday with a motorcycle uh very nice indeed everyone loves a street triple there you go uh right moving swiftly on let's do some more prizes let's get some more winners Stu. let's do this we are gonna do a quad lock so we're going to do quad lock ladies and gentlemen this is an epic prize tickets on this one two one two five that's what i've got on my card Stu, are you happy let's drum roll then big boy let's do it drumming roll good luck everyone quad lock comes in at 38 
shut the back gate. Might have got in trouble for that comment earlier. There we go. Love a triumph, Martin McLean. You do have a triumph. You do have a triumph. We know what you got. You've got a quad lock because you uh, you fitted it to your Rocket 3, I do believe. How's that for a memory? When did you win that, Martin? Let us know when you won that. That was ages ago. Uh, anyway, number 38, what am I doing? You've got six minutes and 30 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, to go and get in on that motorcycle. Uh, right, ticket number 38. Oh, here's a name we haven't seen in a while, Stu. It's not a name we've seen in a while. But he's he might be back on a winning streak again. Who knows? This was our... Is, I don't know if he's our biggest small prize winner to date still. I don't know. Alfonso's probably catching, up, catching him up. But do you? Go on, give me his first initial. Yeah! Stu knows who it is. It's nice to see his name again. Always playing. Always has a few tickets and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Craig Johnson. Congratulations, Craig! Woo, 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 woo. Hasn't had a win for yonks. Months and months and months. Well, there you go. You got yourself a quad lock, my man. Well done. Uh, either side, we had David Peacock and Adrian Crow, And just below that, Craig Batty. And just below, above it, even uh, Simon Lucas. Unlucky guys. But well done, Craig Johnson. Whoa, whoa. Well done. Right. What are we doing next? Let's reset that. We're now doing the Lego. Let me find a picture of some Lego. There we go. Whoosh. Just like that. Right, Lego tickets one to one nine nine. I don't know whether this sold out this time, Stu. It didn't. There you go. First time it's not sold out. So even better odds at Apex sixty six, ladies and gentlemen. You thought they were epic, or even more. what's above epic? Don't know. You got five minutes and four seconds to get in on the MV Augusta. Go and get in. Right, drum and roll on the Lego. Good luck, everyone. Number one hundred and seventeen. One one seven. 117. Let's have a look then. Lego 117. Scrolling, scrolling, scroll. Is he? Legendary. Raymond Montgomery says, above epic is effing epic. I don't know why I bleep myself out there. It's nearly nine o'clock. We're all good now, aren't we? Uh, sorry, what was number was it? 117. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, no winner. Uh, so I will just show you. For those of you that are new, I'll bring it up on screen. Uh, so this is the Lego entry list. Here we go. BMW Lego down here you can see we've sold ticket number 115 and we sold 118 no 117 so that is a prime example of let's spin again ladies and gentlemen so uh good luck the apex 66 promise indeed stew uh right no drumming roll pretend everyone at home and the second number out is number 89 the brighton line dean's mum's in a prime uh let's have a look that's another another dean mum joke there we go uh 89 we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. 89. And I believe... I believe... I'm going to scroll up a little bit. I haven't seen a comment in a while. I'm just going to see if uh, this person is watching. If I said she, would it give it away? Can't see her. She, maybe she's not watching. But we do have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Ticket number 89. Ticket number 89 is... Gemma Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Gemma. Congratulations, Gemma, indeed. Uh, well done. Right. Right, 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 right. What we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. Whoa, three minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes. I reckon we can draw one more prize in that time. I'm up for that. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to shout it. Do you want to? Yeah, we'll do the first question after this prize after this prize and then we'll squeeze the others in because we haven't got much more to do uh oxford holwell here we go right tickets on this let's get this up on screen whoosh tickets one two one nine nine i make it there we go don't think it's sold out if we don't find a winner we will spin again good luck everyone drumming roll is number five and three fitty three right let's have a look you got two minutes, 26 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. That's enough time to check out. 53, 53, Oxford Holwell. Is it a winner? It is a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Let me highlight this person. And then we will bring him up on screen. It is, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Michael D. 
Downton. I was just about to say Downton, so I couldn't see me in. Uh, Michael Downton, congratulations. Woo, woo, woo. Show Michael some love in the comments. Well done indeed. Shush. Right, I can give you question number one before we have the big countdown, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't have a countdown timer on this because Dino has it on his laptop. Um, right. Come on, then. What's question number one, Stu? You're going to deliver it. Do you want to shout it? Just don't knock my beer over. Uh, what is the name of the river that runs for the runs through the beautiful city of London? Something nice and simple. To you. Nice and simple question for question number one, ladies and gentlemen. What is the name of the river that runs through the city of London? The city of London. So that's, that's a toughie, isn't it? Lots of love. The first answers are coming in. Glad the 44 Teeth Boys drop you guys in. Well worth it. Cheers, Luke Jeffrey. Thank you, my buddy. We are real people. Who'd have thought? They even let us into ABR festivals, too. <laughs> even looking like we were. Although the bloke at the gate today stopped me. And he was like, no, no, where's your wristband, mate? I was like, Stu's got him up there. And he went, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go and park over there and wait for him to come back down. I had a funny hat on as well. Uh, this one, actually. That's what I looked like this morning. So they said, no, you're not coming in, mate. Sorry. Um, right, ladies and gentlemen. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. Excuse me. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13... Jerry Morgan's check your spelling, mate. Well, that's all I'm going to say. Give you a tip there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bam, bam. Ticket sales closed, ladies and gentlemen. That is you. Well, maybe about five seconds later, but there you go. Give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, everybody. So we've done question number one. Let's move on. We're going to draw a load more prizes. Then we'll do question number two. Then we're going to do some other stuff. Then we're going to do uh, what we're doing next. Now I'm going to show you stuff that's ending on the 30th. Let's do that. Um, let's do that before I do anything else. Got lots of stuff to cram in tonight. I clearly talk too much, don't I? Uh, right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ending on the 30th. Da, 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 da. We have, when I can get to it, the Sports Bike Shop 500 pound voucher, ladies and gentlemen. Only four quid ago, 26 tickets sold, ends in six days, uh, out of 249. Be quick. Then we got the Tom Tom uh, Satnav Rider 550 Premium. Then we've got, scrolling down, Another massive toolbox for you. This is a Nuremberg six drawer, big red tool chest. Uh, 15 tickets sold out of 275. Then we've got the City Adventure 2 Gore Tex boots. 14 tickets sold out of 225. Then we've got the Revit Milli leather jacket. It's a leather jacket. It's very, very high quality. This only three tickets sold. Three pound to go. Uh, then we've got a Krieger R35 backpack. Eight out of 149 sold so far. Then we've got the SGS uh, 50 litre direct drive uh, air compressor and 42 piece toolkit. Then we've got the light lock, choice of different colours. You know the score with them. Then we've got some Risha Rockies, some Risha Rocky leather boots. Um, very nice indeed. Then we've got the muck off pressure washer. Uh, that's on the 30th as well. That's it for small prizes. But we've got this big, massive weapon. It's an epic adventure bike. It's on the stand with us at ABR. Come and have a look. And if you can't have a look, watch this and enjoy. They say unicorns don't exist. I beg to differ. Here it is, 2022's hottest adventure bike, the brand spanking new Ducati Desert X. This bike's identity leaves no room for doubt. Just looking at it, it brings you right into the atmosphere of Dakar riding. I think you'll agree the styling of this bike is absolutely on point. The bike has every feature that a rally raid adventure bike should have. The bike's got the tall, iconic Dakar styled screen and dash. It's got epic round twin DRL headlights and this long, deep rally raid styled fairing, which really finishes off the bike's look. 
The Desert X sports the brand new chassis from Ducati, which is specifically designed for this bike to match on-road and off-road capability in the utmost of comfort. Speaking of comfort, now sat on the bike, the seat is immensely comfortable. It is also height position adjustable, depending on what you prefer. And depending on what type of riding you're doing, the handlebars are also adjustable by two positions for road and for off-road. The bike's got an incredibly neutral riding position and a very slim profile, which is perfect whether you're on on-road and touring or whether you're going extreme off-road, this bike genuinely has you covered and is a one-stop fits all shop. The bike's KYB suspension, both front and rear, offers full adjustability for compression, rebound and preload. Plus it's long travel, offering 230mm of travel on the front, 220 on the rear and the ground clearances are whopping 250mm too. Moving on to the engine, the Desert X sports the 937cc V2 engine, however there have been a few tweaks. The gearbox has been reworked and you've got a lower ratio first and second gear and a taller ratio sixth gear plus a completely reworked electronics package to help with low RPM fueling for perfect off-road use. The engine kicks out a punchy 110 horsepower, so that's plenty to be ripping up the trails of the track. But don't be fooled, the bike is very economical. It's got a 23 litre fuel tank and a range of 250 miles. Plus for you super adventurers out there, there is an additional petrol tank you can buy for the rear of the bike. It gives you another eight litres. Stopping power is brought to you by Brembo's epic M50 caliper, which you might think is over the top, but that is by far the best in class brake caliper of anything on this type of bike. And for the first time in a long time, Ducati have brought out a bike with a 21 inch front wheel and an 18 inch rear, both tubeless spoked. Now onto the piece that really ties the Desert X together. This bike has the most superb electronics package you can get on any modern motorcycle. You've got six Rhino modes, yes, six, two of which are focused solely for off-road. If you're riding on-road, you can choose between sport, touring, wet or urban. And for off-road, you can choose between enduro or rally. Not only that, every single Rhino mode is completely customizable between the multiple levels of settings. If you're a completely novice off-road rider, Enduro is probably the mode for you because it offers a more intrusive ABS and traction control setting which still allows you to enjoy the dirt. You've also got cruise control and all of this tech is controllable through this beautiful 5-inch colour TFT dash. In summary, the brand new 2022 Desert X is the perfect dual sport package. It's got the Dakar inspired styling, the comfort to match, the engine packs a hell of a punch, and this thing you don't want to miss out on. I'm Dan at Apex 66. If you want to win bikes just like this for less than a tenner, then head over to the Apex 66 website today and check out what we've got live. Good luck. What? a motorcycle ladies and gentlemen what a motorcycle i'll tell you what there ain't many bikes that arouse me i've got to be honest that does uh, and it's currently sold i'll tell you right now 541 tickets out of 2499 i do expect this to pick up the pace it's there with us at abr this weekend tickets being sold on the stand obviously so uh, we'll see what happens and they've got a fleet of these bikes so you can go and test ride as well which is quite cool it's an epic bit of kit. It is what everybody's talking about at the moment. And uh, yeah, go and get your tickets, ladies and gentlemen. That's worth a lot of money, that motorcycle. There we go. So uh, that's that. Right, now we're going to move on to a little thing, uh, an educational part of the show, which we love, you love. This is... It's Mind Your Language with Dino. Oh, f*** off, you... Except it's not really with Dino, it's with me. So it's with Dano this week. And this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll just explain, by the way, uh, be awesome to test ride one. Well, Andy, you can do, to be fair. They're at uh, ABR. Send us a nice message. Who knows? Um, so this this came about, ladies and gentlemen, because Dean, as you know, likes to swear um, more than me, a lot more than me. So one of our lovely customers, uh, Stuart Edwards, up in Scotland, sent Dino a book of how to swear and offensive phrases in foreign languages. So we thought we'd make it a bit of a ditty on the show. So there you go. Um, we're going to educate you now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is German this week. 
It's lick my ear. Lick my ear. That's exactly how you say it. Lick my ear. Ladies and gentlemen, turn your children away. This in English means lick my balls. That's what it means. Lick my balls. Lick my ear. Lick my ear. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was. It's Manja Language with Dino. Oh, coffee. Oosh, there we go. So, now we're going to draw more prizes, ladies and gentlemen, more prizes. And the next prize we're going to draw, you lot didn't like very much. This is the Showy X0 helmet. Uh, don't think it made it to 50% sold, so we have to spin a few times. Say la vie, everybody. Uh, not every prize is liked by everybody, but there you go. So uh, this one was, uh, where am I finding it? There we go. Tickets one to two, four, nine. One to two, four, nine. There we go. Uh, right. Drumming roll. Good luck, everyone. Might not be the first, might not be the last drum roll. Here we go. It's number, it's bang on in the middle. Oh, we're nearly in the middle. One, four, nine. The Brighton line. Right. Let's have a look, shall we? One, four, nine on the showy. It is a ticket that is sold. <laughs> no way. First time winner. There we go. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, please be uh, upstanding. Four. Here we go. Bringing it across now, Mr. Alan Henson. Congratulations, Alan. Either side, we have Michael Hillier and just below Sam Evitt. Unlucky guys, and one below that, Peter Haynes, and one above that, Gemma Castle. Unlucky guys, but well done, Alan Henson. Whoop, whoop, whoo! Give Alan some love in the comments. There we go. Right, let's reset that. I think next up, we got some tools. Yes, we have. Let's do a tool chest, shall we? Here we go. Right, tool chest on. This was one to two, four, nine, also two four nine there we go here we go drumming roll everyone good luck is number 186 bread and sticks stew love something that we can't pronounce uh 186 all right let's have a look 186 186 186 186 is a ticket that is sold ladies and gentlemen See me? Yes, it is. God, it looks really small on the screen. Um, right, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding. Ticket 186 on the Sealy belongs to Brian Bosworth. Congratulations, Brian Bosworth. Uh, either side, we have Paul Sutherland and Noel Nicholas. And one more out than that, Tony Murray and Melissa Wilkins. Unlucky. But well done, Brian Bosworth. Whoop, 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 whoop. Give Brian some love in the comments. There we go. Right, speaking of Go, let's do some GoPro. Right, that's what we're doing next. I'm trying to speed things up and get to, because we've got more stuff. We've got Phrase That Pays. We've got more prizes. Blum and neck. We're going to be here all night. Uh, right, GoPro, Hero 10, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's do that. Let's bring it up on screen. Right, GoPro was tickets 1 to 225. I believe this sold out, so we should find a winner first time, ladies and gents. Uh, right, 1 to 225 in the mix. Drumming roll. Good luck, everyone. And it is number 183. It's loving the 180s tonight. 183. Let's have a look. 183. 183. 183. 183. Is a ticket that's sold. That's good luck. Because if it wasn't, I'd worry. Uh, right. That belongs to ticket 183. Coming up on your list now. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding. I believe for a Mr. Mr. Michael Brown. Woo, 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 woo. Congratulations. Uh, either side, we had Adrian Rosser. And just south of that, we had Paul Nuttall. A bit more south than that, we had Paul Hugh, uh, sorry, Philip Hughes. And a little bit just north of that, we had John Welsh. Unlucky guys, but well done, Michael Brown. Give Michael some love in the comments. Whoop, whoa. Got a cracking through it now, Stu. Got my, got my pace on. Oh, question number two. Let's have that right now. Go on. They won't be able to hear you from me. I'll repeat it. 
Oh, that's a challenge. Right, ladies and gentlemen, listen up. This is question number two. Which motorcycle manufacturer makes a model called the Panigale? They're all difficult tonight, aren't they? All difficult. Which motorcycle manufacturer makes the model Panigale? Whoa. That's question number two. Right, let's draw a Garmin, ladies and gentlemen. The Garmin was ticket one to one nine nine, I believe. One to one nine nine. Is that right, Stu? Before I press the button. Sound good to you? Right, drum and roll, everybody. Good luck. Question number one hundred and twenty-two. Well done, one two two. One two two. Let's have a look. I don't know if it's sold out, actually. Can't couldn't tell you. One two two is a ticket that has sold. Right, let me highlight is this person. Great first name. Never gonna guess what that first name is, are you? Great first name. Right, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding. Presumably a mister. Mr. Daniel Knight, congratulations. Great first name. Um, that's because my name is Daniel. If you're tuned in, you don't know who I am. I'm Dan. <laughs> uh, either side, we had Paul Grant and Robin Hall. And just a bit further out than that, we had Philip Allen and Philip Hughes. God, Daniel, Robin and Paul were in a Philip sandwich. Look at that. Uh, well done, Daniel. Who's shown some love? Daniel Knight, even. Uh, show him some love in the comments. Woo woo. Congratulations. Congratulations and celebration. Is that what they say? No. Is that what they say, Stu? That's what I say, mate. Right. Okay. That is that. Right. Let's show you some shears on the website. Right. We've got loads of stuff, ladies and gents. There is a lot of stuff to win on the website right now. Right. Let me find the website. There we go. There we go. Right. Ladies and gents, to get involved with on the 4th of July, which I believe is a Monday. Is that right, Stu? 4th of July is Monday. Right, first prize up for grabs, the Hydraulic Motorcycle Workshop Table Lift. Thank you to recent winners for sending you photos. I can't remember your name, but I did see a photo. Richard Marion. Richard Marion. Thank you for selling your Hydraulic uh, Workshop Table Lift. I think he's watching tonight, Richard Marion. Thank you. For... Right, and by the way, if any of you haven't sent your photos in yet, your winners' photos, come on, you buggers. Get them over to us. Message us, us on Facebook. Send them to winners at apex66.co.uk. If you can only email, that's fine. Uh, right. Hydraulic Motorcycle Workshop Table Lift. Uh, four pound to go. 275 tickets. Only nine sold already. Then we have a very top of the line helmet. This is a lovely helmet. The Arai Quantic helmet. Choice of colours on this. Uh, four pound to go. That's like a six plus hundred pound helmet. It's very, very expensive. Uh, 20 tickets already sold, ladies and gents, unsurprisingly. Then we've got another GoPro Max. The 360 bundle with a choice of mounts. Then we've got a Senna Dual Pack. Uh, dual pack four pound to go two to five tickets go and get in the mix uh, then we've got a new price for apex 66s uh, the tcx rt race boots lovely lovely race boot we spotted these when we were out and about in a motorbike store they look wicked so we thought we we're having some of them uh, then we've got a Danese ignite textile jacket choice of colors then we've got something a bit more summery the oxford kickback aramid riding shirt fully armored riding shirt looks cash but it's fully armoured. Can be worn all around all good supermarkets. As can these next prize. Uh, the Danese York Air Shoes. These are lovely shoes, these are. We saw them in Greenham Kawasaki last week when we were there. They look wicked and we thought, yeah, we haven't run those for a while. Let's have a go at them. So uh, 15 tickets already sold. God, these prizes got off to a flyer, Stu. Then we've got, also on the 4th of July, the Revit Apex H2O, a mesh textile jacket. Loads of colour choice on this, guys, and it's perfect. If any of you have been riding recently in 25 degree heat, wow, it is warm. Um, then we've got the RST Reinforced Straight Leg Aramid CE Approved Jeans. Choice of colours, you guys love them. Then we've got another Rural Rock, ladies and gentlemen. You guys love Rural Rocks, the Atlas 4.0 uh, helmet. Choice different styles uh, with the comes with the bluetooth insert so the shockwave audio and the pin lock then a new prize for apex 66 we have moved into the 7th of july now by the way um we've got the furry gun appalaches appalaches textile full suit so this is a very high-end suit lovely suit jacket and trousers choice of different colors male and female cut so all of y'all can get involved 
You ladies, if you want a more tailored cut, they do a proper ladies fit. There's not many motorcycle manufacturers that make ladies fit clothing. So that is lovely. Four pound a go, uh, only two, four, nine tickets. Go and get involved. Then we've got another ABBA Skylift. You guys love a Skylift. Then we've got a Revit full riding suit. Again, a lovely summer suit. You've got the jacket, the jeans and the gloves. Then we've got a Merlin Hurley riding hoodie. Uh, lovely riding hoodie, fully armoured, ready to go. Looks cash, but uh, fully armoured. Then we've got a pair of Oxford big black paddock stands, both front and rear. Uh, only 99 tickets. Super good odds at Apex 66 as always. And then onto the last row of prizes, we've got the Monimoto Smart Motorcycle Alarm and Tracker. Then we've got a lovely pair of Furrigan Jet D3 O textile gloves. Absolutely perfect summer gloves, these. Already 12% sold. Uh, it's only 99 tickets, so expect that to sell out before we get there. Then we've got the Revit Fuse H2O waterproof boots. Again, quite a lower cut boot, so it's not an ankle boot it's like a mid boot really so something that's not going to get your legs all sweaty but it's going to give you a bit of ankle protection and then last but not least the held adventure evo backpack and tell you what we might have something else as well check out this absolute italian stallion check it out we have got you another absolute unicorn it is the tasty ducati 1199 panigale and this one has got the turvies on it Just look at it, rated five stars by MCN and real life owners alike. The 1199 Panigale was a huge step forward, not just for Ducati, but for Lita sports bikes in general. The Super Quadro V-twin engine kicks out 195 brake horsepower. Combine that with the frameless chassis and its top spec components, including the Brembo M50s and fully adjustable tunable suspension all round. That will make this 1199 Panigale one of the most immersive riding experiences you will ever have. And it doesn't stop there. This bike has got a whole host of tech and rider aids, including a full color TFT dash, three rider modes, electronic engine braking control, slipper clutch, and a quick shifter. Pop all of that into a package that weighs just 188 kgs, and I can guarantee you, you will have a big fat smile on your face. So be quick, grab your tickets. You may not get another opportunity to own a 11.99 Panigale as clean as this. I'm Dean from Apex 66. If you want to win motorcycles and motorcycle prizes every single week, head to apex66.co.uk and check out what we've got live right now. Very, very, very special motorcycle, that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wesley Heyman, my back is aching just looking at that. I know that I'm uh, too much of an old fart. No, not at all, mate. To be fair... Um, it is sweet. Yeah, sweet Jesus indeed, Mike Lambden. That is a very nice 11.99. It is done 500 miles each year. It is, it's been around literally five. The thing is absolutely immaculate. We have it at Adventure Bike Rider Festival this weekend, so you can see it. We'll do some lives around it as well, so you can see it. It's got the full termies on it. It sounds incredible. It sounds absolutely immense. That video probably doesn't quite do it justice. It is, a, it is a beautiful bike. You could eat your dinner off it. And don't forget, Cash Alternate is always available ladies and gentlemen so wesley hayman that would buy a nice tiger that bike it's worth a few quid so uh don't miss out don't miss out don't forget early birds on until sunday so uh so get in on the mix it <laughs> does the 11 9 year come with some tissues raymond asked <laughs> right ladies and gentlemen question number three listen up listen up and then we're going to play the phrase that pays come on Stu, hit me with question number three Uh, which tennis Grand Slam tournament takes part in June in London? There you go. So which tennis Grand Slam tournament takes part in London in June? There we go. That's question number three, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, go and answer that. First answers are coming in. First answers are coming in. You can swap it for a tiger for me, Wes. Yeah, it's absolutely stranger things have happened. We did... That's what the cash does, to be fair. And we've we got one or two connections in the motorcycle industry, so I'm sure we can help you out, buddy. Don't you worry. Uh, so that's that. Uh, right, now we're going to play the phrase that pays. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the phrase is... Dino, you know I love you, but I can't talk right now. So, Dino, you know I love you, but I can't talk right now. That is the phrase. Right, let's play the intro. Check this out. This is the phrase that pays. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the phrase that pays. Welcome to our new little game. Um, so, if you one winner so far, one winner. So, what was it? It was Alexa play Stevie Wonder, wasn't it? <laughs> so, and he said it. He did say it. So it was quite good fun. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Google uh, random number generator to generate a number um, of essentially. Uh, everybody that's entered uh, any of the small prizes for tonight if you haven't won them fear not you may still win 125 pound web credit if you answer the phone with the phrase dino you know i love you but i can't talk right now all right so that is it so we have had i will tell you right now uh 1660 entries 1660 uh, on the small prizes for tonight so i am going to pop that number into the google random number generate and we are going to draw a number we will attempt this up to three times but if we don't get it on third time we're going to sack it off and we'll roll over to next week ladies and gentlemen and the prize just gets bigger so without further ado drumming roll let's find our first number First number is 1547. Oh, God, I've got a bloody scrolling to do now, Stu. I'm scrolling. 15. That right arm's taking some bashing. That's uh, that's an interesting, uh, interesting thing. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a number. I will just bring it up on screen, okay, uh, and show you who it is. Okay, here you go. You might be able to see. You might not. It depends how good your eyes are. Uh, it is someone called Robert Thorpe. So if your name is Robert Thorpe and you're watching right now, stand by your phone, my man. We're just about to give you a call. Right. Let me find his phone number. Give us two secs. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right. Stu, give me a phone. You got a phone? I've got a phone here. It's cool. Right. Here we go. Here we go. I have my phone. I'm going to type in his number without trying to read it out because... I'll do that. Um, let's do this. Are you ready? Should be able to hear that. Dino, I know we love you, but I can't talk to you right now. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, please. He's done it. He has only gone and done it. <laughs> no way. There you go. That's beautiful timing. Well done. Well, do you know what? Is that the second time in a row it's worked? That's superb. Absolutely superb. Well done, Robert. You've just won yourself £125 web credit for saying, Dino, you know I love you, but I can't talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely superb. Well done, you. We'll get the credit applied to your account and go and spend, spend, spend. Cheers for that. Good man. Thanks, Robert. Catch you later. You. Cheers. Bye bye. Oh, that was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, that was. <laughs> It pays to see the freeze. It is good when it works. That was £125 web credit. You're right to go and find him and apply it. You might as well do that, and yeah. Unless you want to draw the bike. Uh, good question. Well presented. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've forgotten already. Yes, it was. Robert Thorpe. Robert Thorpe. Whoa, look at that. See, you might not win a prize, but you might win a secondary prize just for joining in with the bants. Right. Let's draw a motorcycle, shall we? Are you ready, Stu? Shall we draw a motorcycle? This is a particularly nice Italian motorcycle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I like this a lot. So, as you're aware, did not sell out. Uh, didn't get very close, I don't think. So, uh, if we do have to spin a couple of times, apologies. But here we go. Right, 1499, Stu, correct? Right. Are you ready? I'm sorry, I've got no countdown on this. I can't do a 30 second though. We're going to have to do a drum roll and go for it. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Drumming roll. Good luck, everyone. 
It's number 1022. 1022. I need a. Whoop. Right, let's have a look. Uh, 1022. Let me scroll. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Scrolling. Scrolling up a little bit. Scrolling down a bit. 1022, ladies and gentlemen. Is. Is. Does that sound loud if I do that? I can't really hear it because I can only hear a little bit of my ear. Is a ticket that is sold. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, 1022. 1022. Whoa. Here we go. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding. I presume for a mister. Because I don't think I met a female version. 1022 belongs to a mister. Steve Walton. Congratulations, Steve Walton. Either side, we had Innis Dick and Lucky Innis. And one up from that, Nigel Scott. And then just below it, Gareth Haynes. And then just below that, Will Macy. Will Massey. Unlucky guys. And Glenn Weeks just below that. Well, well done, Steve Walton. Congratulations. We shall give you a call right about now. Um, right. I've just realised I haven't played my handover video, have I? I was going to play that, wasn't I? I'll play it out. I'll play you out with a wicked handover video, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around for that. It's uh, it's Jason uh, um, Fallows. That's the name I was trying to think of. Jason Fallows. Do you want to grab me a phone number? Because I haven't got them on there. That's all right. Thank you, mate. Cool. Uh, so Stu is just going to go and find the phone number. We'll wait for that. Funky music. So loads of prizes on the site, ladies and gentlemen. reading your comments coming in congratulations congratulations beautiful bike well done congratulations steve well done steve lucky git congratulations steve beautiful machine really wanted that bike so close yet five so far five off david wiley unlucky uh where you really oh wow yeah you were yeah where you were 1014 you were um well done steve well done steve lots of love coming in <laughs> luke jeffrey fark <laughs> f-a-r-k fark <laughs> Uh, Richard Marion, shit, no luck tonight. Ah, there's always next week, my man. And there's always Monday. There's Monday, isn't there? We got a landy. We got a landy. Like a Land Rover. A landy. Hello. Hi, is Steve there, please? Uh, yeah, who's calling? It's Dan at Apex 66. <laughs> this is fun. Hello. Steve? Yes, this is Dan at Apex 66. Can you, I'll just check, just check and you can hear, the, the listeners can hear. Steve, did you enter a competition to win an MV Augusta? <laughs> I, I think I can hear, I think it's your good lady in the background going, no! Uh, congratulations, sir, you have won it. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is superb. <laughs> I think your wife's more excited than you, mate. <laughs> Thank you. You are very, very welcome. You're very welcome. What bike do you ride now? A speed triple. A speed triple. Wow, this one's a little bit more aggressive. And it's Italian and it's loud. There you go. Well, well done you. Thank you so much for playing. And uh, what we'll do, because we're live on Facebook right now, I'll give you a shout tomorrow and then we'll arrange all the details and go from there. Is that all right? You're very, very welcome. Very welcome. Well done, Steve. Go and celebrate. <laughs> woo woo! <laughs> Screams in the background. Scream if you want to go faster. Cheers, Steve. Bye, bye. <laughs> That's all I heard in the back. I think she wants it more than him. 
<laughs> superb right well done steve uh well done everybody else thank you so much for playing everybody we couldn't do it every week without you guys obviously buying your tickets um i'm going to play you out with a wicked handover video and i'm so sorry because i meant to play this before drawing the mv um but uh but i will play it right now this is a lovely lovely guy called jason fallows he won the honda fireblade we delivered it on friday the weather was banging we love you lots we will see you at adventure bike festival if not we will see you on monday love you lots bye-bye bye-bye we have just arrived here in sunny Derbyshire. It is the hottest day of the year, and we are just about to go and meet Jason Fallows. Now, Jason won the Honda CBR1000 Fireblade with us just last week. Let's go and meet him. Jason? Hey, mate. Stuart. Hey, Apex 66. All right, Stuart. How are you doing? All right, I'm good. You're good, good. I'm a bit light. Don't be like that. <laughs> Don't be like that. So, we've set the bike up round the back for you, hope that was okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no good. Worries. Would you like to go and meet her? Yeah. yeah Follow me. Yeah. Just over a week. Yeah. Yeah, it's the been bike, a... The day has arrived. Yeah. How does it feel? Uh, surreal. Surreal. <laughs> it's been, uh, since you phoned me last week to say I'd won live on Facebook or whatever, it's just yeah. like I've been a day, you know. Yeah. Not quite uh, Not in the right mind. No. And a little birdie <laughs> tells me that you've uh, you had a Fireblade before. Yeah, a long time ago, yeah, probably 12 years ago now, yeah. 12 years now, ago. That was a, a mint, low mileage model and... And uh, that, that's what we've got for you again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's almost calm, I can't get away from Hondas. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Jason, there oh God. is yours, and it is yours, Shit. Honda Fireblade CBR 1000. Oh, mate, it's mint, it's mint. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How's that feel? Oh my God, I feel like I'm going to cry. Shit. There is a man that is truly lost oh for words. Oh my God. <laughs> You've got the best job in the world. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this, this bit genuinely is one of the best bits of the job. Mate. There you go. That's Thanks yours. very much. Wow. Mate, no problem. No problem. <sighs> Throw your leg over it. Get comfortable. Oh. And of course, oh. Regular viewers of Apex 66 will have heard this bike because I know, um, yeah. it's something that we couldn't get enough of a couple of weeks ago, well, uh, a week ago. And um, yeah, they all like to hear it. So, wow. If you don't mind. Oh. Jason, if you don't mind me saying, you genuinely feel like you're lost oh, for words. I am. It's incredible, isn't it? It's. Uh, I never win anything. No. <laughs> I mean, no. well, I won a bottle of wine at a fancy dress once, but there we go. That, that and also, it. a little birdie does tell me as well that you won this bike with a couple of top-up tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was up. Um, not not long after you first put it up, I think. Oh, I thought that looks mint. I'm going to have a go on that. I bought two tickets. And a week later, you'd got like just over half the ticket sales, and I yeah. thought, I'm going to bump another 20 quid at that. Worth a go, yeah. And the fourth ticket was the winning oh, one. It was the fourth one as well. The fourth one, yeah. Fantastic. So it's like, yeah, I don't believe in karma, but that was definitely a bit of karma. <laughs> it, that it pushed was. me the other way. It certainly was, yeah. But yeah, it's. Uh, and, and what a day to have a brand new bike sat on your know, yeah. Are you going to get straight out on it? I'm, I can't, because I've got a shoulder oh, injury, okay. so I'm about yeah. a month away, but. So you just got to sit and I've admire it for the next month. Annoy the neighbours for a few weeks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come out and just give it a couple of revs every now and then. <laughs> and I have a question for you. Does it sound as good in the flesh as it what does, it did on yeah. the video? It's really year, loud, yeah. I'm going to have to get some airports. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, and dish him out to the neighbours. Dish but, it out to the neighbours. We have yeah. the neighbours looking look as well, in envy, he's yeah. already said. So yeah. what would you say to anyone that's maybe come across one of our adverts for the first time or stumbled across the Apex 66 website and thinking, oh, I'm not so sure. What would you say to them? Well, I mean, it's like there's quite a few sites you can have a, have a raffle on and whatever. But um, 44 Teeth said the good guys, the bikers, and you do with bikes. It's like, well, I'm, I'm part of that world. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what like, gave me confidence, I'd say, confidence to have a couple more tickets. And, yeah. And, yeah. And like, well, it proves it, doesn't it? <laughs> well, the proof's in the pudding, isn't it? <laughs> well, I think all that's left for myself and Dan uh, to say, and Dino, of course, 
yeah. is to say congratulations. Yeah. Enjoy your thank bike. Thank you very I much. I won't shake your arm too much. No, not too much. <laughs> it is a bit sore, but yeah, and everybody else, thank you very much. It's yeah. great. It's no great. brilliant. I'll be having a few more goes on helmet and gear while I wait for uh, the shoulder to... Well, the odds are incredible on those, aren't they? So, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Well done. And enjoy your bike, Jason. Cheers. Thanks. So that was Jason Fallows, and he was over the moon with his win, the beautiful Honda CBR1000. If you want to win motorcycle prizes just like Jason did, head over to the website. We have over 40 dedicated motorcycle prizes live right now.